Hey, what's up everybody? It's That Guy Skimpy, and today we're going to be doing another airbrush video. My buddy Fat Dudes Fishing on Instagram uh, sent me a message asking if I'd make a video showing how to make like a sexy shad on a popper. Um, so I went through my bait blast colors and stuff, and I think I have an idea. It's not going to be your your average uh, sexy shad, but uh, in my head it's going to look awesome. So I'm going to see if I can do this. All right, man. Let's do it. the popper and we're gonna go ahead and do the base coat in white so let's do that first all right so let's do the base coat here camera sorry just making sure I get every little part all right looks like I got everything so on to the next color Okay, so the next color is this pearlized. It's a shad flash, and all it's gonna do, all it's gonna do is uh, put a little bit of a flash on it, so it's gonna still keep it. I don't even know if the camera's gonna pick it up. It's just gonna give like little sparkles, a little flash to it. So pretty much, I want it white still. On the bottom here, I just want a little bit of flash. So it almost just looks like a white pearl. And I know the camera's not picking it up because I can barely even see it go on. But yeah, you can definitely, when I move it in the light, you can kind of start seeing it sparkle. I don't know, does that pick it up? Can you see that? All right, I'm gonna put a little bit more on. It's starting to pop out a little bit more. this dry I'm gonna take a hair dryer to it I'm gonna do a second right, coat so it should be dry I'm gonna do a second coat see if I can get it a little bit more shiny I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can definitely see the see the shininess now. All 
All right, I'm gonna let this dry and then off to the next color. All right, so for the next color, we're gonna do with this yellow chartreuse. And I don't want a lot, but I'm just gonna put a line down it. And, uh, yep, we'll see how that goes. Like I said, I don't want a lot, but yeah, I'm thinking like right under the eye. So maybe that side was a little bit more than this side, but got to match it up now. Maybe a little bit more than I wanted, but I think it's going to get covered up a little bit. All right, there we go. All right, the next color is going to be for the top, pearlized. It's called uh, Blue Back Herring. Give it a good shake. I got jammed there for a second. Okay, I'm going to be doing two coats of this. So I'm going to take a hair dryer. Um, Flash dry it and then uh, we'll go again. All right, so let's do another coat here. Trying to get it just a little darker. good all right to the next all right so now if you notice I got some scale netting I just went ahead and did it because you know sometimes it takes too long and I didn't want to uh, make the video that much longer anyways the trick of it is you want to get it as tight as you can on here because you want it to be a perfect pattern if it's loose then you know it's not gonna make perfect scales so I don't plan on going over it super heavy but I am gonna use black and I'm just gonna kind of dust it a little bit and then it's gonna give the uh, the scale effect here. And like I said, this is my own take on a, uh, on a sexy sad, so I know that they're usually not like this, but that's what's awesome about making your own is because you can make your own however you want. All right, I've got the black loaded. Give it a test. Okay. So I'm actually gonna go all in the yellow and the blue. I'm just gonna kinda go a dust like that. A dust like that, and they're on the top. Dust like that. 
make sure I got everything. And that's all it is. All right, so let's take this off and see what it looks like. awesome and now for the for the mouth here I'm gonna paint red but I got a cool thing I want to show you guys so uh, the last time I painted uh, a popper and uh, I was painting the, the mouth red I got a little bit of overspray on there and it completely ruined it and so I was so mad so then I forgot that I have these awesome uh, quick coat uh, paint pens from CS Coatings, let's see if we can get it. And they make it in all different kind of colors. So I'm actually gonna use the red and the black. I'm gonna put red here, and then uh, I'm gonna put a dot on the back, and I'm gonna do that in black. So let's do this red first. Let's see if it comes out. Oh, I need to get a need to hold it from the back hey yo, hey yo. Oh, awesome already um, it is a lot easier then loading the uh, the airbrush with red and then cleaning that red out because I think red is probably one of the hardest colors to clean out. So I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this uh, black quick coat paint marker from CS Coatings and I'm gonna put a little dot here. I think I'm just gonna kinda Something like that. And I'm gonna try to do this. Try to line it up the exact same here, right behind the eye. Yeah, got it about the same area. I'm just gonna kind of. So let's put some eyes on here. I'm gonna go with silver. I'm gonna grab some eyes and then we're gonna um, put the uh, clear coat on it. All right, these are the eyes I'm gonna go with. I'm not sure exactly what they're called, but there's the part number. And then, yeah, I'm not putting any epoxy. Oops. I'm not putting any epoxy down to stick them because I'm gonna be using a clear coat and the clear coat's going to kind of seal them. All right. What do you think? Uh, you can notice right here. Oop, come on, go and focus notice here that there's a little chip in the paint that is from um, when I put the uh, the netting on and then I put the uh, alligator alligator clip on the bottom I think it kind of scratched it my buddy um, uh, Uncle Shorty told me that uh, before I do the scale netting it's always a good idea to put a put a thing of clear on it over it and then let that dry and then do that and then usually that won't happen so, all right, man, let's put some clear coat on. So now it's time to clear coat. 
I have this uh, CS Coatings seal coat. And then I bought a bunch of these at uh, Harbor Freight. And I'm just gonna brush it on. I usually do two coats. Um, it dries pretty fast. <clears throat> and like I said, I don't put the uh, epoxy on the eye, so I, I kind of go heavy on the eye, and then I kind of brush around. I want to make sure that those eyes get sealed. This is not wanting to stay up oh, right. Okay. There we go. All right, I think that's it for the first coat. I'll let this dry and I'll do another coat. Right, stay tuned all right guys so there it is the sexy shad I think it came out pretty cool let's see if we can get this to focus a little bit better there we are we got the blue we got the yellow we got the pearl we got the dot we got the red mouth we got the scales if you look on the bottom you can kind of see a little mess ups that's from uh, when I had the scale netting on there and the alligator clips and it kind of messed it up. But uh, yeah, man, I'm still learning. Um, I think the more and more that I do this, the better I'll get. Man, you don't know how many of these type of baits that I've messed up just by learning. You know, uh, I keep on trying to do different patterns and try to learn different techniques and stuff, man. I've been, I'm like you guys, man. I'm watching YouTube videos trying to learn different tips and tricks, man. Big shout out to uh, Fat Dudes Fishing uh, for asking me to try this color. Hopefully this is kind of what you were looking for. Like I said, it's not your typical sexy shad, but it's my take on a sexy shad. So hopefully this gives somebody some ideas out there on some different stuff that they can make. Because, uh, yeah, there's so many different things that you can do, so many different ways you can do it. And like I said, I'm still learning. But yeah, um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for everybody who subscribes and likes and shares and comments. I appreciate you all. Uh, big shout out to Do It Molds. Big shout out to Victory Hooks. Big shout out to CS Coatings. That guy Scampy, please subscribe.